Gentlemen, good to see everyone again. I understand Mr. Turbo has a bit of business to take care of elsewhere, so he won't be joining us this evening. Uh, we might not see him for a while, actually, but I'm sure he'll pop up somewhere. I'm sure you guys can handle things without him. Did everybody get the tickets I sent? Yes. yes. All right, airplane tickets. Good stuff. New client came in waving big cash. She's looking for a team of dedicated individuals who enjoy the nightlife and would be willing to retrieve uh, certain packages for her. In exchange I said nightlife. I like to boogie. <laughs> boogie down, comrade. Maybe you've heard of her, uh, Brielle Stringfield, some fancy pants executive at Biotechnica, apparently. Uh, it didn't seem like she was particularly friendly, but maybe she was a bit nervous making a new connection with some you know, people like us. Our world is a little bit different from her usual corporate stuff. So, yeah, well, why, why the plane tickets, you ask? Well, this is a good question. These packages she needs retrieved are currently trapped in a secret laboratory, possibly underground, in New York City. Why us? Well, you know, our reputation precedes us, especially after the stuff you've been pulling the last few weeks. This may not be a good thing, now that we think about it. I mean, why the hell does Biotechnica even know who we are, right? But anyway, she's more than happy to pay to send all of us across the country to handle this. We're more than happy to take her money. I assume. I'll tell you how much in a minute. So here's the deal. She wants at least 30 bricks of this new designer drug lifted from their old warehouse or laboratory or a warehouse laboratory, something like that. A big fucking building in New York, except the lab and the drugs aren't on ground level. You got to get into the place. You got to figure out how to get into the lab. You got to find the lab hidden in the basement or some shit. Finding access is going to be the easy part because it's not deserted. There's a full gang of tweakers running around in that place. They're using the drug they're making. They're selling the drug. So they're not feeling any pain, if you know what I mean. I mean, did you read the scream sheet about this stuff? You know, these people are basically super soldiers once they get on this. No pain whatsoever. It sticks in them for eight hours. It'd be really helpful in our line of work if it wasn't for the crippling addiction that goes along with it. You know, as, as soon as they run out, they're basically, you know, crashed. They, they can't do anything. I have a drug resistance. Well, it, it, would, it wouldn't help you at all. <laughs> well, maybe I get the effects, but not the addiction. Ah, there you go. Well, you know, only one way to find out. <laughs> I guess you, you, can, you can test that theory. Plus, yeah. we bring that shit back, not using it. Okay, so what time? Yeah. What time is our flight? For? Well, we need we need 30, 30 bricks. There's probably six hundred in the building. So yeah, you so have to I just get one for myself. You know, you just have to be basically aware that there. So I want to know. I don't want to know. So, uh, you know, don't expect to punch one of these guys and have them go down. They're just going to laugh at you and, you know, come, some, come back swinging with a pipe or something. So uh, when you go in there, take down everyone. You don't have to, you know, you're not trying to spare any lives here. Everybody in this place is a scumbag, and you're good to go. You know, we have okay. permission from the Nice US. and wet. Right, right. Exit. What's the, what's the exit strategy? Well, here's the fun part. After you get the drugs and you're, you know, you're sure that you can get them out and you're not going to have to run back in and pick up some more, you get to blow the place up. You know, the client is providing the good stuff. C4, remote detonators, whole works. So it should be one hell of a bang. You, know, you guys get to pick where you want to plant the packages, put them wherever you want. Just make sure you have room to get out of there before they go off or you become a permanent part of the landscape. Got that. How big is each package physically? Like that you're picking up, it's it's about the size of a large brick, like, like maybe a little bit smaller than a cinder block. You can probably fit okay. ten of them in a bag. Okay. I'm we'll assuming she's going to provide bags along with the C4. That's C4 actually. and detonators. I got it. Yeah. Also, <laughs> just just try not to the detonate the, the C4 while you're all in the car with the C4. This would be bad. Yeah, but well, either, as long as we keep the C4 away from the detonators, we should be fine. <laughs> well, if they're going to be in there, just don't push the buttons. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So you know the risks. Here's the reward. She's going to pay 2000 up front and another 15 upon delivery. That's 4250 a apiece, plus a free first-class ticket to New York City. Not a bad deal for an evening's work. So 2000 up front, huh? 2000 or 20000 2000 So that's 500 20. each. Say so forty-two fifty each. Five hundred each up front, and then uh, whatever forty-two fifty minus five hundred, so uh, thirty-seven fifty at the end. Okay. You got that? 
<laughs> we need a money guy. <laughs> hey, save. Hmm. 500. Just add 500 to you. Carry the one. Uh, so my inventory? Inventory. Tap your money. Money. Oh, yeah. I forgot we have to do that. Uh, and money. Oh, that's up here. There, yeah. Maybe I can get some better armor. And then add 500 to that. It'd be easier to just add 500 to that. 2,000. So you should add 2,500. There you go. Okay. Get, getting paid. <laughs> you got that, King? Of course. You didn't do it, though. Yeah, I did. I just spent money before. <laughs> I had to get Papa. I had to get a new coat. Five hundred up front. I assume by the fact that everyone's checking their bank accounts that everybody's in. So go ahead and uh, you know that's all I have to say on this one. Get yourselves to the airport as soon as possible. And when you get there, you'll find a vehicle waiting in the long-term parking you know, on the other side. So I'm going to send the access codes to that car to your agents, and uh, you should be good to go. So assuming she puts it where it's supposed to be, you know, it'll be there. So, uh, okay. You know, I'll be in contact from time to time, but you know how to get a hold of me if you need to. Oh, and they got it. They managed to get a satellite photo of the uh, the lab area too, even with X-rays. But uh, there's there's a lot of shielding going on. So we'll see if we can get that across to her. It, it right, may or may not good. show up because it's kind of a large image they've sent. <laughs> so we're in we're in NorCal. In the free state of Northern California, so we're heading to. What does the ticket say? We're going. At, we're flying out of SAC or San Francisco. SFO. SFO. You need to you get yourselves to San Francisco. But. Okay. From the non exactly described location of our secret fucking uh, building, so. Right. You can decide so, how far that's going to take, but it's not going to take more than forty-five minutes. Of course. Because we'll say there's no traffic because it's late, right? <laughs> uh, 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 there's always traffic. <laughs> <laughs> which uh, airport are we flying into? What is it? Uh, uh, going to LaGuardia. JMK. LaGuardia? LaGuardia? <clears throat> oh. Ugh, yuck. Traffic. There will be traffic <laughs> when we land in the uh, car. Uh, it looks like it's the closest to where you were going. So Right. But I rather would have flew into Newark. It's a longer drive. But it's easy. It's just you're just driving straight. I'm is, not is, Newark, is Newark even there anymore? I'm not sure it is. Newark is still there. <laughs> Literally just flew in it last year. We came out and they're like, Dad, look, Budweiser. I'm like, shit, it's right here. Well, you're talking about in 2021. I'm talking about in 2024. <laughs> uh, on the map that, uh, that I have. It is still there? It's still here. Cool. Well, they survived. Good deal. Newark. I know there's a couple of places on that side of the. But we're not going there, so get it off the screen. We're going to go. Nuclear wastelands. So yeah. We're going. going, uh, That's where we're going. LaGuardia. And oh shit! Is the lab in the Bronx? Uh, We in the boogie down? (laughs) uh, I don't see that. That's that's yeah. That is where it. uh, All right. Yeah. Hey guys, I got this. I actually have family in the Bronx. (laughs) South Bronx. South South Bronx. South Bronx. See, now your nomad stuff just plays right into it. <laughs> right. As a matter of fact, I'm not sure if Wall... I feel like I remember Wall from back in the day. Walcott? And I know, yeah, Walcott, he also has a family over on uh, 161st Street, I believe. Well, 61st. And over in Spanish Harlem. Well, probably not Walcott. And yeah, Fort does. Lee. Fort Lee? That's Jersey. Mm-hmm. All right. Like I said. All right. So first things first, um, we're going to take that little badass minivan and we're going to drive it up to uh, SFO. No, that's right. Bob has the badass Bob minivan. Bob has the keys. God damn it. <laughs> 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 we need to get you a new You guys ride. can take one of the, the company cars out of the same kind of car you had last time. Four seats. Okay. All right, good. Slightly armored. What? All right, what is what kind of car is it again? Light armored minivan. Okay, I, I'm going to go ahead and put that in my inventory. Uh, under vehicles. Oh, I all right, you're the driver. It. All right, let's go. I'll go ahead and take it. Now, yeah. since we're getting on an airplane, can we bring our weapons with us? Got to check. We need to pick up nope. weapons. <clears throat> no, you can't bring them with you, but you'll be able to check them. There, so they okay, won't, they won't make check you leave them behind. Okay. Yeah. We got to check it. That's all we got to do. I just want to make sure. I got a I'm asking case. before we get on the plane. Yeah, yeah, if you I'm try like to take it on the plane, they'll be upset, and you know I won't let you do that. But they do, uh, you know. I'll, I'll, as long as you check them in as baggage, you're good to go. 
Because, you know, who cares if the bottom half of the plane is filled with explosives, as long as they're not in the passenger area. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Ooh. All right. I'm sure that will never come into play. <laughs> so, I, I, while we're in the vehicle, let's say that we are, we're leaving from, let's say our secret location is pretty close to the Fairfield, yeah, yeah. Sassoon, Vacaville area. <laughs> right. So, yeah, you're, you're driving down. And it's not going to be too much in the way. It's late, you know. It's it's late, so we cross. Kind of a quieter time of the day, or whatever. What is that? The the Carquinez Bridge. We'll say no you, we'll say you make it. You know, you're at the airport basically. Okay. Uh, and as you as you're pulling in, you park and all that stuff. So uh, you're, you're locking my car up so that no one steals it. Hopefully, and, uh, and if somebody whoever wants to do this, somebody roll a D10. Four. 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 All right. So as you're approaching the door to the, the airport, you guys are about to go in, you see a two-person camera team come out, with a you know, camera guy and an interviewer lady with a mic coming out, looking for some cult members for a story they're trying to do. Uh, somebody roll that 10 again. 10. 10. They, they decided that the, seeing you guys there approaching this place at once as a team, who are still currently carrying your weapons, they decided they're going to follow you around and see if you're a better story than whatever they were looking for. Well, we're carrying suitcases. Well, you're also armed. And, and, yeah. oh. They're watching you, basically. They're not, uh, you're not on TV, but you, they, they, they smell the story, so you're being followed around at a distance. Oh, so they're like doing like a media thing, like they're going to be with us? I, I don't know how far they're going to go because you're going to have plane tickets and they might not. But uh, at the moment, okay. they're, they're reporting on you guys like your uh, story. Is it uh, two male, male, female? Uh, female, female? Male, female. Male, female. Male okay. cameraman, female uh, reporter. Okay. That's usually how it is. That's <laughs> usually how it is. It's weird when it's the other way. <laughs> you yeah, you're carrying carry all that shit. <laughs> That's why it's usually not that way. Even though they're fully capable of carrying the heavy shit, it just look, makes you look bad. All right. So as we're going, Jackson, you're 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 your team lead. Okay. Uh, they're they're not approaching us or asking questions, are they? No. At the moment, not they're yet. keeping a distance. Not yet. They're keeping their distance, but and they're and, and, actively. And above like, the door, you also see the big sign. Now that you were asking about, it says no weapon zone. All weapons must be checked. Okay. So we'll go to. The line there to check the weapons. You didn't get the update. All right. And that, there's a, there's a update. Unlike the real world, that's going to proceed smooth. So <laughs> you guys have everything checked. They give you your little tag so you can pick it back up on the other end. The luggage, the weapons, everything is stowed and safe. And you guys are free to board the plane. Uh, she did get you guys first class tickets. So you get the bar first. food, all that stuff you want. Of course, uh, the, the more you drink, the, the less you're able to shoot. But, you know. Find a good balance. <laughs> um, well, let's go ahead while we're waiting on the plane to, to get in. We'll, we'll stop at a stop at a little bar right there. You know, Eat nice little, right before we go on the mission. Go ahead and take a little edge off. I, I got ginger ale. Okay, that works. It's ginger ale bold, so it burns the esophagus as it goes down. Yeah. Wow. It's got props. What do we what do we Not see um, while we're at the gate? What, what is it? Is it look like a bunch of people that look like us? I only ask because I just was, I'm just wondering in? if there are more than one people one group on this job. Oh, who's at the gate? Well, uh, in the area that you're in, which is sort of like the VIP fancy pants area, there, there's only a couple of other business people around. Nobody really looks like they would be uh, as interesting a story as you. In fact, okay. the, the news reporter and her camera person got stopped at the door to the area you're in, but they're probably out there waiting for you to come back out. Oh, so we're like in the VIP lounge area? Yeah. yeah. Oh, we got our business miles up? <laughs> My business God. class. She Black. paid for the good stuff. All right, I'm this, a, this lady's like a trillionaire in this world. So she's okay. I'm going to view, view the room with my perception to see if anything looks uh, out of the ordinary. Just keeping my eyes open at all times. Uh, it's at the moment, you don't see anything that looks too uh, unusual. Everything's looking right. pretty good. Everyone who looks, everyone who looks like 
they are. They're supposed they to are be what they are. You know? of all, we're the unusual group. We are the unusual you group. You are the unusual group. group, yes, for sure. Okay. All right, Jackson, what's our play? Just uh, wait to board. I don't see uh, you don't really need a plane right now. All right. Just relax. Enjoy yourselves. We're in the lounge. Grab a couple cocktails. How long until the play? All right, party down. Don't do anything Ric Flair would do and wait till you get there. <laughs> okay. I got this laptop Bob gave me. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good one, too. Top of the line. Okay. Air right. yeah. the, the plane See, this flight, is a session you know. we're going to miss Bob. Yeah. I know, We right? have like 800 things he could have done very well. <laughs> <laughs> so the plane takes off, does the flight, it's everything goes in, smooth. There's no, uh, there's no trick to this. There, there, there was no nefarious plot to crash you down to the ground or anything. So you wind up landing at LaGuardia. You're all good. And, uh, you get oh, because the this thing has it. Oh, and then it cuts back up. All right. I was like, <laughs> this thing has us going to Missouri, and then it cuts yeah, back up. Yeah, we didn't buy it one way. This is expensive. <laughs> it's like, is there a, lay- oh, like, was there a layover? <laughs> yeah, you I fall asleep and wake up in Nova Scotia. <laughs> okay. Good stuff. Okay, so you, you're you're there. You're safe inside. You have to go get your stuff from the luggage thing that they yeah. have there. All right. So when we get to LaGuardia, uh, paint a picture. What's the scene? What are we looking at? Uh, a, a mostly quiet, about one thirty, two o'clock in the morning airport. So oh, okay. there, there's there's some people there waiting to get the luggage. People who were on the flight you just got out of, and a couple of other groups. So it's not crammed full of people, but it's not deserted either. Now, there's a car that's, after we get our luggage, there's a car that's picking us up, correct? No, it's parked in uh, long-term parking. We parked in long-term parking. Thank you. So let's check our gear, do weapons check real quick. It's a car. Um, as far as the camera crew, did they get on the board and did they follow or did they stay at the gate? If they got on, you haven't seen them because you were on and VIP'd and they would have been stuck in the back somewhere. Yeah, so, but usually yeah. VIP gets on first, and then they see everybody go. Hey, and then we get off first. Suckers. <laughs> and they seem to be, you know, a sort of a local network crew, so they probably didn't follow you from, you know, Northern yeah. California to New York. KCRA. Are we on the uh, 737? Now, of course, there's, you might find some more here. You know, it's not like there's no media people running around New York looking for a story, but, you know. You guys just look too damn interesting to these people. All right. There's so, cult, cult members going by your house right now. We would like to make our way to the um, to hey, the parking to a long term parking garage. Well, our weapons check okay. Oh Looks yeah. Like anybody screwed with their weapons? Are you were going through everything. It's still as secure as you had secured it, so that you would know for sure if anybody tampered. Okay. Awesome. All right. Now, you rigged all those bags in advance, making sure of that. You go to the, the parking area, and the car is exactly where it was supposed to be. the The GPS on your agent led you right to it. No problems whatsoever, and yay, it is the armored minivan you were hoping it would be. So uh, ah, you know, the, the, door, the door slides open as you touch the codes, and inside you see the four duffel bags zipped up. Okay. And, uh, and that has C4 and explosives and detonators. Well, I guess if you look inside one, you'll see, yes, indeed, each each bag has two bricks of C4 with remote detonators already jammed into it. Oh, shit. And, uh, and of the four bags... Now, they've all got the C4. Two of the bags also have remotes, which have the switches you need to detonate the bombs when you're safely far away. Okay. So before we go move any further, uh, Jackson, or what is, what's your street name again? No, oh, I don't like this street. Okay. It's Coyote. So Jackson, Jackson and the wall, uh, you guys have experience with explosives, correct? Yeah. Can change that? Yeah. Or can you change anything? I, I grabbed it at random. I'll call him, uh, his street name is... Coyote 2. Brutus. <laughs> Coyote 2. <laughs> Brother Brutai. Uh, I'm, I'm going to call you Jackson. <laughs> call him whatever you want. I'm going to call him Clay. I'm going to call him Clay. Okay. So, all right. So now let's go ahead. Let's uh, let's load up. And I, uh, I punch in the coordinates. Or actually, no. You punch in the coordinates. Oh, okay, so you gave them you gave them the remotes so that we just did. It's down the street. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's not down the street. It's in the Bronx. <laughs> down the street. We got across the George Washington Bridge. Never heard of it. The, uh, well, 
Actually, <laughs> playing into my character, I can't. If we, we if we go this way, that's too long. We can go the George Washington Bridge, come up through this way, and fuck man. around with Manhattan. No, no. Yeah, th- this is the way. This is this is the way. Listen, you gave me the map. I'm telling you, that's not the way. You don't want to go through Queens. <laughs> we don't want to go through Queens. <laughs> Just a simple drive pass. You all right? You know what? You put in. You put it in this way. I know which way to go the other way. But all right, let's go through Queens. Let's go. Let's. You want to go through Queens? We can go through Queens. Just drive, man. Just drive. I got an uncle Mike that lives in Queens. <laughs> Wall. Looking at some stats. Yeah, yeah, looking at some stats for no apparent reason whatsoever. <clears throat> Alright, so what you you're you're just gonna head right, right basically where the map tells you to go, right? Right. So yeah, you're <clears throat> this is not a problem. You're gonna not really run into much along the way, hopefully here either. It's not that big of a uh, a trip if you're taking the this kind of a short way to go. I assume you're not going the long way around. So uh, I wanted to go the long <clears throat> way around, but he put it in the nav, and we're gonna go through Queens. Yes. All right, and then take this bridge over here, and take it into the BX. All right. Well, as you're driving along, somebody. Let's see. I don't know who's got what there. Who's driving? I'll drive. I'm driving. All right. Driver, roll perception. Perception. Fifteen. 15. You notice someone in, in another sort of a low-lying car, have a dark sort of a stealth-looking mobile following you faintly, you know, far in the background. Uh, do I notice, is it like a two-seater, four-seater? Is it like a sedan, or is it like a... It looks like a sporty little, it's probably just two seats. Sporty little, sporty little? All right. I inform the team, uh, I think we, I think we pit, uh, picked up a, uh, a tail. How you say it? Yeah, yeah I already was say it. Did we understand it correctly? Somebody's fucking following us. <laughs> oh, thank you. You want to try driving past the? I'm on a bridge. <laughs> yeah, I know. I mean, when we get off the bridge, driving past the targets, if they yeah. follow us, you know, and just drive right by it, see if they keep following okay. us. And good fellas, they take three rights before they know someone's being followed. Yeah, I know. Or right, on the so bridge, that, just that jump cranks, the that and cranks your suspicious levels up a notch. You guys are now now thinking, well, what the hell? Because you just got here and suddenly, you know, no one's supposed to know you're here, yet you're being followed. So right. so square here. If you're a suspicious type, now you're wondering what the hell. Oh, well, now we're wondering if there's a well, there's a uh, low jack on the car. Yeah, because we did not check the car. We checked our weapons, but we didn't check the car. No, this this car's good. This is uh, our old car. So let's go ahead. It's not the same car. car. That's good. But so we will go in. Bob we'll go has in. Those keys. As soon as I hit an off ramp coming off the bridge, I want to take the first off ramp, make two rights and, and a left. <laughs> so trying to trying to do the evasive thing. Yeah. Uh, what the heck? We can do that. I want to go away from the location and then cut back to the left. To make my way back to it, and then check to see check our six and see if we're still being followed. All right, yeah, roll evasion. Roll what's that? Evasion. 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 That's a combo. Evasion. I got it. Yeah. Ooh, eleven. All right, and while you're at it, roll your uh, land driving or whatever that thing is. Your driving skill. Driving skill. Twenty-five. Okay. So you execute the maneuver you're trying to do with great ease and, you know, it's just brilliant move, but uh, she's still back there. Oh. It's a she. I saw, I saw a glimpse. It's a woman behind us. Uh, yes. <laughs> yeah, saw- so obviously, this also means that the distance is closing. And now, so I'm on high alert using my perception. Okay. Um, this could be so you're on high alert using not. your perception. Oh, uh, what did you roll? First. Uh, I rolled a 14. 14 tells you that you might want to look at those detonators and make sure that they're the only detonators. I'm going to check the bag. 
Okay. Uh, Jackson. Anybody have any, anybody have tech skills? Mm. I do. Yeah. Oh, my do? tech sucks. Of course. All right, yeah. I have trouble with my cell phone. All right, so here's the <laughs> Do you want me to continue with evasive uh, maneuvers? Or you want to... What is it, basic tech? Or you want to pull it, over uh, and I, I say it. stop. And yeah, it's basic tech talk explosives. Uh, even just your regular tech on the top where it's like tech something. If you hit the, the number there, it'll give you a roll. I got a tech four. He rolled a 15. Right. He rolled a 15. He rolled a 15. Okay, so yeah, you're good to go. <clears throat> so you find that indeed there are two sets of signals hitting this thing. So they're wireless, but you're you know, two different addresses. Can I... Uh... These are the detonators, but it looks like someone else might also have some detonators. Uh, guys, we might need to dead these detonators just to cut off circulation all, all around. What else can we do? So he's got back door. That isn't... It's C4 is like a, like, a, like a hard clay. Right. We could simply pull out the detonators and get our own. Okay. Where are we going to get detonators from? Well, it's got to be... Uh, okay. Uh, so I think we'll just go to Bad Guys R Us and no. get some detonators. All it takes is well, small if he, if he hacks shot around to in set there. it off. Or yeah, that's well a possibility. But, uh, but if he's <laughs> hacking around in there, okay, you can guys. see the separate frequencies. So if you want to pick and choose, it'd be like setting them... No. So basically, you could reset them so they all work with just the remotes you have, or set them to an entirely new remote if you had a different one, or replace the parts. All right, Let's just reset it. it to the remote that we have. Can right. I you use my uh, scanner ability? It allows a net that. runner to find out the locations of the systems in the area, meaning I'll be able to find other... Other two, what? The other, uh, other two detonators. But if you can... If you can change it to where we can only set them off, then it doesn't even matter. I can't. That doesn't I don't have that ability. <laughs> no. You have tech. You should have. <coughs> what you have. If you have tech, you have that ability. Well, you can try. Tech. Let's see. Okay, so Jackson wants us to pull over mm -hmm. and confront the follow car. Okay, yeah, let's walk back there and talk to him. All right, well, let's go. Yeah. That's what right. I'm here for. So while. As soon as we stop, they might blow up the car. That's a possibility. That's why you need to do what you do. So Kay's going to work on the detonators. I'll pull the car over. Jackson and the wall are going to pop out. What do you want to do with the detonators? I'm going to disable them. Just don't okay, stay. yeah. Well, you would just roll electronics and security tech, which you should have a pretty good... Uh, 29. 29. Okay, you have no problem whatsoever getting into this amateur system and rerouting all of these detonators to work off the remotes you're holding. Way to go, kid. All right. We're all still right. standing outside the car. All right, we pull over. Gills. That would have been messy if you didn't find them. Yeah, no, that's good. <laughs> all right, we pull over. That's my perception. Good job. That's why we brought you. <laughs> Wait a tick. Something ain't right. All right. Uh, all right hop so you're out. pulling over. Jackson and the wall pop out. I keep the engine running. I'll just walk back towards the car, see if they take off. All right. Uh, it, is, it stops when it, it sees that you've stopped. It tries to maintain distance, and when you are, you know, you're walking towards, the car starts to back up and, and turn around. Like It's like, oh, you didn't actually see me here. Uh, All right, see, I consider that a warning. So next time, <laughs> we open fire. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair I enough. warned them. That's all they get. All right. So, once... Um, Did you flash the badge on them? Is that... <laughs> yeah. Come with me. Right. I can't flash the badge. Say, I'm in New York. As soon as Jackson and the wall get back in, I'm going to baby driver our way back to the uh, to the location of, of the job. Okay. Good deal. So, you're heading back on the road and taking the route you're looking for. And looking behind you, you don't see anybody back there. So if there is anybody back there, they're doing a much better job of hiding this time. Okay. Pretty much, though, it seemed like uh, like just even being face down at all led to... Uh, the, the person was pretty spooked out. She she kind of bailed. I don't know. Maybe it was just the look on, uh, on Brutus's face there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, this full, guy's full scary, too. Oil. That's why we sent and out huge. the muscle. Yeah. Sending you both out there together, that's just terrifying. Yeah. All right, so you pull up, and you're actually at the uh, the location there. 
And if you got, I don't know if the picture showed up, it did show up by my agent. So uh, you have a bit of a, a location thing. It's, it's, a, it's on the corner of a street. There's, a, there's sort of a compound with, with a fence and then there's a building. And then inside the building, you can see this sort of blocked off area where we couldn't see from the, the x-ray. No, it's not that way. It's this one. All right, so you're kind of off to the side, you know, you're parked somewhere where you didn't just pull in the front driveway and be like, hey, what's up? No, so you're, you're scoping the area out. Uh, that's what the map is for. So uh, what you can see from where you're at is around the street, around the front of the main entrance, you see five guys that look like scarecrows or holding weapons. Five guys? Okay. Lock and load. And what part, what part of the... Stuff. On the map, what you would be looking at there is, uh, is like around the... If you can see where the big thing is at the bottom of it, that's your entrance to the, the compound there. Yeah. It's like a gate. That dead center at the bottom, th those guys are lined up in front of that. Okay, like on the south part of the street? Yep. That little dotted line? Mm -hmm. That's the gate? Yep. There you okay. Go. So, uh... All right, so they're out there, they're sort of, you know, smoking cigarettes or doing whatever they're doing, bullshit, and then just, you know, Lightly guarding the door to this place. All right, hey right. guys, is this a stealth mission? Yeah, always. Well, it's up to you if you want to try to All right, yeah, well, stealth it, or you no, just want to go in blowing people up. Eventually, it ends with a bomb, so it won't be too stealthy. Right. All right. That's what, that's what I'm asking. Well, how, okay. Well, so, how do you want to, hey, Jackson? How do you want to broach this? Well, is that a, a enclosed building with a gate in the front, or is that a wall around it? It's a wall around it. It's a wall around it with a gate. And then it's it's also you're inside a building there too, right? So they're tall walls, basically. Tall walls. Well, we get there, past is a, the gate, there is a roof on there the that you can't tall see. Walls. So. Okay. Tall so take. He's got I say enough, uh, it's a big enough space that they have vans. Yeah. I would suggest we circle there. the place, look for a nice dark blind spot, and hop the wall. Uh, that northern. Street. Okay. Anybody else on the street? Sorry, what are, what are those uh, barrels? Look not like? not in the areas that you can see. There might be some around the back of the place. Northwest. What, what are these barrels here? And there there is a roof on That's there. Trash. You're looking at an trash X-ray view. So there's probably spots you could drop in from the ceiling, like skylights and crap, though. So that that is an approach. <clears throat> All right, this looks uh, like a bathroom it's, here. It's not just open like that. Though. Right, right, right. Bathroom. This is where the the stuff is right here. So propane tanks, trash. Okay, you want to come in through the garbage <coughs> in the back? No, I want to check the security. To I want to check the security footage just so I can get a nice layout of how many people are there. All right, there you go. Uh, right. That's uh, just regular tech, or is that the uh, electronics and security? And then we can uh, ping them. Like, do electronics and security. Nineteen. Nineteen. You're in the camera system, which is not all that complicated. You can see a basic. Uh, closed circuit TV. It's just one screen with six cameras on it. So you're looking at a view basically of each of those rooms. And, uh, and there's a couple of guys in, in each of those rooms. Not every, every room. You see maybe four guys total inside and plus the five guys that are outside. Is there a camera pointing to that northwest portion of the where the, where the, where the garbage where the tanks, propane tanks, tanks are? Tanks? Right. Uh, there doesn't seem to be anything focused on that. Okay, that's where we're this going. This is kind of a dead zone. All right, uh, Frank, left to right, I've got a uh, boardroom. But that's inside. We're not in there. We're not in there yet. But we can see it. So I want to get a layout of what it is. This is a boardroom. Yeah. How many people inside the boardroom? There's, There's four, four people, people in, total. The in the building. In the boardroom with the table, you got two guys in there. And how many in the lobby area? Uh, there's two more out there. And then in the... Uh, the door like room? Those are the four that are in there that you know of. <laughs> okay. And uh, nobody in the bathroom up top, and nobody, uh, I guess no that's like a little coffee. Nobody area. else. Uh, There's nobody no camera else in the bathroom. We don't know. You never point, know. This is 2025, man. <laughs> oh, sure. If you're watching long enough, you will see somebody go down those stairs. Boom. What stairs? Show me the stairs. Here. Top, Stairwell. top right. Got yeah, it. here. These are stairs. These are coming down. Uh, so we're looking at the top well, floor. There's we stairs, so they go both ways. But you're up, and those do go down. Those, these go down. So that's where we need to go to the basement to set the charges. So we're going to the dope room. We've got to make it into the lobby. Okay. Two people in the lobby, two people in the boardroom. Dope room, somebody going down the stairs. All right. Okay. 
All right. So we'll come in. We'll come in to the north, the northwest corner. Uh, By Jackson, the propane tanks. Jackson and Wall. Okay. One point. All right. Uh, using my perception. Do you guys have uh, silence weapons? Are you good? Oh, right. how, how are you planning to get I don't in have there? Silence. I definitely don't want to. Definitely don't want to blow a hole in the wall because that would set off those two big ass tanks. Well, is that that's an outside area, right? I just make a lot of noise. Yeah. yeah. This okay. Is so outside. we can we can hop that wall behind the propane tanks. Uh, Jackson, there's a, roof. Point. there's a roof. There's a roof. See, so you're looking at the X. Oh, so that's so that's a garage. Point. Because it's, I see it's a whole it's a whole warehouse. It's a whole warehouse. The whole okay. thing. Okay, so because I, I see trucks. I do there. see though, right where you're talking, right where you're talking about, and I hadn't even noticed. <clears throat> there's a sewer grate there, so you can probably pop up and in. Boom. Might be able to get straight to the. Go up higher. Now. No, no, no. Go more north. More north. <clears throat> Keep going. Come back the other way. Come back west. Behind the garbage. Right case. here, this yep. sewer grate. Boom. Okay. Well, let's go in underground. Oh, yeah, let's take a look in there before we go. Anything. Yeah, let's go. Let's pop it. It's very point. Let run point. Please. All right. All right. So, get into the sewer grate. And we don't have any information on that sewer system, right? If they even have one that goes into the uh, Well, the there's a bathroom connected, so I'm assuming <laughs> it goes somewhere. <laughs> yeah, I say yes. Yeah, there's a bathroom. It must go somewhere for sure. So, yeah. <clears throat> And also, there's there's a there's this was a laboratory, and there's a drug lab here somewhere. So there's got to be running water and drains. Pop that manhole <laughs> cover. Let's uh, the sewer grate. Let's get in there. We know we need to go. Uh, we're gonna need south. to go south and then uh, east. All right. Well, as you the, the grate is easy to remove. It's not exactly uh, you know like you don't have to blow it up or anything. It just kind of pulls loose. You pry it out. And, uh, and since he's still connected to the computer system, it doesn't look like that just set off any alarms inside. So you're probably okay there. Uh, you should be checking for that. Is there a, it's kind of a, it's kind of a tight fit for you bigger guys, but you, you can squeeze in there if you put your mind to it. Hey, man, is able to slip right through. <laughs> <laughs> if you get far enough in, it'll open up and be an actual wider space. Okay. It's just the, the distance down the, the hole into the actual right. sewer area. It's kind of a tight fit. Okay. Try not to splash, big guy. <laughs> Probably about two feet by two feet. Yeah, you don't, don't want to get stuck in there with uh, with your giant rifle or something, but you, you're probably good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Take it slow and take it easy. So you come down into, you know, like Ninja Turtle style, you see the open, the, the sewer with the, the you know, river running through River there. running through it. You see a Little right. walk pads on both sides of the tunnel. A little elevated. Exactly. A very typical New York city. Yeah. Pretty much. I can see it so clear. Alligators. See it so clear. Alligators? They're probably mutant alligators by now. Yeah. Keep your eyes open. We probably close. will see the Ninja Turtles down here. All right. Okay, so... Hey, dudes, did you bring pizzas? Yeah, exactly. Uh, uh, let's keep checking the, the sewer until we can Cattle start to bummer. move into a any type of a, a south direction. And so you're trying to head essentially towards, you know, what towards where the, their bathroom and stairs are. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, it's, it is a sewer. And uh, other than the usual assortment of rats and crap you find in here, it's uh, there's nobody trying to disturb you yet. Okay. Yeah. Uh, all right. Well, if there's anybody down here, it's one of these tweakers trying to catch a cigarette break. Ooh. I didn't even think about them. All right. So who's got stealth? I of course have uh, stealth. You do? Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I so stealth. I'm keep keeping our eyes open, and nope. uh, we're gonna make our way I south. I got and, stealth. Uh, as soon as we can, uh, I'd say probably about where's your stealth? Fifty feet. Plus fourteen. Maybe a hundred feet. Get down to a hundred feet. We're gonna see if there's a uh, uh, a way to go east. Right, yeah, <clears throat> you still see the. You know, the interconnected labyrinth of the sewer system. But if you're following along and you've got your basic tracking skills in a general sense of direction, you're going to be able to get yourself underneath their lab okay. somewhere. Okay, I'm pretty good at tracking. You, know, you come into an area that looks like you see a lot more things going up into the ceiling than there have been in the previous areas. We could just push the water drains. Drain here. But we need to get the samples. There's a certain amount of sample product that we need to take out first before we... We need, we need 30 bricks. We need 30 bricks. 30. I thought it was 60. It's 600 total. 30 bricks, destroy the rest. Extra brick for me. Or, or, or whatever you want to do with us. But yeah, you only need to get 30 of them. And uh, if you wanted to wire the place up before going in, that, that sounds like a good idea. Interesting fail safe. 
Let's go ahead and start putting some of this. That gives you the option of, if I'm going to die, I'm taking y'all with me. You know? Oh. We're going to so set it up. Okay. So, so that's what we're doing? Okay. I, I can't put an explosive <laughs> up. I might. <laughs> it's all about the net, baby. I'm all about the net. <laughs> all right. Uh, I want to try to what use my uh, perception to see if there's any type of a uh, access panel uh Abandoned dumb waiter, you know what I'm saying? Something down in that area that will lead up into the building. All right. Well, uh, a, you, a you, you don't even need perception to see that there are the, the standard ladders going up into the holes, like every twenty yards or something oh, like that. Oh, oh, standard sewer. But uh, but you do actually, with your perception skill, you notice that one or two of them have less dust than all the other ones. Okay, I want to go to that one. And I want to use my stealth to try to make my way up. All right, this is this is doable. <laughs> yes, so you're gonna climb, climb on up the ladder and do what when you get to the top? Uh, I want to go up to the top and scope, survey the area. I know the camera work said that the room was empty, but I just want to make sure that there's no. Where Where are you going up? Trip wires right there. Back. Go Go back west. West. Or I mean east. Um. Me. East. 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 Down. I'm thinking I'm right here. But I don't know. I'm underground. Right. I want to go up and find out where I'm at. Well. This is where I think you, I am. These moved, stairs go downstairs. In, so there's, a, there's a, another level. You past, uh, past the bathroom. So you're either underneath the lab thing that's on the right that we can't see. Uh-huh. Or you're in the other building above it somehow. Okay. Right. So these, said, these stairs go down. There's downstairs. So... There's stuff that we're not seeing. Right. Underground. So I got to go through the duct. Or whatever the access panel right. I'm trying well, to get in. You're right. What you're doing, you went down to the sewer, which is underneath right. wherever what you're trying to get would be. So you have to go up like you're doing to get into where you need to be. Correct. So And then when I look out top. All is correct. It's probably best to go into the to the bathroom area. But, dude, I don't know. I'm good. I'm just going up, man. <laughs> I don't well, know. if we have a map, we can pretty much figure it out if we know. He's just he's just popping in and scoping it out. All right. Uh, okay. Okay. I see you're trying. He's trying to take the route where well, we can measure the amount of distance you've gone and see where we're actually at. Exactly. With my perception and intelligence, I got. That. We could figure that do out. Do you want to do that? I see a ladder here. I see a bunch of dusty ladders, and I see one that's obviously people have been using, and they're clean. <laughs> All right. So, so you see his head pop up the other hole and go, "Ha ha, dude, oh, wrong yeah. hole." <laughs> All right. So we'll we'll go up that ladder then. Hey, you ain't got to talk to me like that. <laughs> not Bob, you know? <laughs> You're the driver. We're not in a car right now. <laughs> I mean, you know, I understand. <laughs> this is your first job with us. Not Bob. But, all right, you know what? I'm a team guy. So go, go ahead. If you want to use the whatever po- techie stuff. What, what do you see? All right, I want to use my stealth and, and, and creep up in there. Ah, uh, uh, Donner, pull yourself together. Come on, let's get in the character.